first, I just want to welcome you to A Million Roses. And, um, you know, just start out by introducing yourself. Indy Cash, you know, um, Maryland uh, native, uh, but no stranger to New Orleans. So I know what's up. All right, straight up. So you say you're from Maryland. That's in um, Baltimore, right? Baltimore. They got a city, in Baltimore, but I'm from uh, PG County, like so for Washington, to be exact. But uh, the county, like it's like it's like, like kind of saying West Bank. You know how West Bank and New Orleans. Right. Like, it's kind of saying like you from the West Bank. No, I ain't from Baltimore. Right. Maryland. So, how long you um been in New Orleans for now? Um, well, we really been back and forth my whole life. So, uh, born in Maryland, then we moved to New Orleans, and then when we was like five, we moved back. My people had got a divorce. Then I moved back in like 2010. I had went to school out there, and I've been out here since 2010. So, just speak on like how uh, moving back and forth. How did that uh you know affect you uh growing up? Well. Uh, at, you know, at first, so I spent like the ages from five to fourteen in Maryland. So you know, we really raised somewhere. I, I didn't like it when we moved or whatever. But as I got older, now I'm twenty four, so I got to see like the difference in how moving around can really shape people. And um, I also got to see like how people live different, like how societies and cultures and everything be different. So now I'd be appreciative that I actually moved around because some people be so stuck in New Orleans, even if some people be so stuck in Maryland, like they don't see nothing else. For me, I'd be like moving around because we did it so much. So is uh like traveling, like as far as moving around, you're talking about traveling, seeing different things, different <clears throat> places? Yeah, it's like I love traveling. I love I love seeing different places, seeing new people culture, you know, meeting different people from different places, like stuff like that. So what's some of the, um, your favorite places that you've been so far? Um, I just recently went to LA, so LA, Houston. Um, I've been to, um, I've been to uh, Atlanta, uh, uh, New York. So like I, I'm, I'm really I like the city life, like real mm-hmm. city life. So like fast paced stuff. That's me. Yeah. But I also live like I went to high school in Ham, so like that's country like. Right. So I got to see that to know that I don't like that shit, mm-hmm. like, you know? So you're very, very uh, well around it when it comes to, like, different things. And um, talk about how that plays into your music. Um, that play, I feel like that plays a whole lot because I can speak on different different cultures. I've lived there, went to school here. Like, you know, I know different areas. I don't got to use a GPS to get around New Orleans or Hammond or Maryland or D.C. Like, you know, like... I feel like that just helped me tremendously. Like, I feel like that kind of like set me apart for some people. Like, when all they can speak about is one spot, like, you know. So let's dive into it more musically. Um, How long have you been um creating music for? Um, I actually, when I was younger, me and my, um, I started rapping, like rapping, rapping. When I was in sixth grade, we used to put on, me and my friend did, that's, we used to put on shows at the elementary school and they used to let us do that shit. But um, I had, it had took a back burner when I got like in the middle school. So I played all these sports. I played basketball and softball and soccer and karate and stuff like that. So I had picked it back up around like 2017. So you started back making music in 2017. Talk about like some of the the difficulties of becoming an artist. So uh, you know, just some of the stuff would be some roadblocks that you've ran into. Um, so some of the roadblocks is like people like not being who they say they are or like, you know, like scammers or like not just knowing enough about the music industry. So I, um, I try to like educate myself. Like, so I'll be writing music and making songs, but I really wouldn't be putting them out. I would really be like at home on YouTube watching like about royalties or about like BMIs or like, you know, really learning stuff about the music industry. So um, I feel like that shit, that shit, that shit, that's a whole nother conversation. Right. I feel like I, um, like I younger artists, I be speaking on like my partners in New Orleans, younger and older and older, they don't spend enough time trying to learn that stuff, but you would be hot the longer the day tomorrow, they get stuck in like a, whack ass deal or whatever and you don't even know what the fuck you got yourself into. Alright. Yeah. So um 
just dive more into the, the artistry of behind your music. Um, who are some artists that you're influenced by? Uh, um, I'm influenced by like Wiley, Lil Wayne, um, J. Cole. I like, um, I really, I really listen to a very, like a wide range of music from gospel to pop to R&B to hip hop to neo soul. Like I like all, like I really like music. Like be listening to the cadence and melodies and how they arrange words together. Like, so I don't know. I gotta, I gotta I say I have a whole bunch of different influences when it comes to that. Like my mom used to have us listening to Brian McKnight and Marvin Gaye and stuff like that. She's like in that older generation. Definitely. Yeah. So do you have any um, official projects out? No, I don't have any projects. I, uh, my brother says it's time to work on a mixtape, but I just been throwing out singles and just shooting videos nonstop. So what's something that you, um, if somebody, for somebody that's just getting on to you, I don't really know about you. What song would you say that they need to go listen to from you? Um, I'd probably be um, "Hello." Yeah, my "Hello" song. I just, I just dropped that video like a month ago, something like that. Probably be "Hello." It, it really depends, but I'm so versatile. It's just that how you feeling. Like you want to hear some conscious, you want to hear something that could be on the radio, like. Want to hear me rap some balls or something like you know? It's so versatile, but I say definitely, definitely. And say, for instance, if uh, like your rap career starts to catch fire, mm -hmm. do you have any artists that you uh, that you would like to work with? Um, see, I'm real. I'm, I like putting people on, like, like you know, like local stuff. I listen to local local stuff. So, like, all the New Orleans artists, like, I definitely like to work with. All of them, everything. Like even like my cousins and stuff that rap in Maryland and stuff. I like to work with all them. Any big artists, I was really gonna work with Ron Wayne. But that's I, everybody work with Wayne, Lil Baby, um, J Cole, even like uh, Cardi. I don't know if you know him. Like, I think I've heard of him before. Yeah. Yeah. People like that. I expect. And um, just go talk about your, your process of making music. What's your, your creative process of uh, creating your music? Um, so I like to start. I could really, I could write without, the, uh, without a beat, but usually it'd be a beat I hear and then a melody. I, I, within like five minutes, I probably have like a, a chorus, a melody. So I turn on the beat. I had a melody and then I put the words in there with the melody and then Either I keep the words, the original words, if they make sense to me, or if I, sometimes I change them up depending on how the verse come out. But like yeah, that's usually how I go. So do you write? Yeah, you I write. write. I write. Yeah, I ain't. I don't know how these niggas be like talking about they be. They don't be writing. I write. Right. You know, I feel like I feel like even though it do have you overthinking a lot when you write, but I feel like you be. It's like more expressive. Like you feel me? And for me. I know I be funding my own stuff, so when I write, I don't take as much time as when I punch in. I can write something down, write, have the whole stuff written when I go to the studio, and I'll work on the next song because I got it all written down. But when you punch in, it takes up more time. Like, you know, I be trying to save time, save money, you know. So what's some, um, what's some stuff that you do outside of music that you have going on? Um, well, I work, so uh, I drive a school bus, and uh, I work at a shoe store. Um, I'm pretty sure people know. Uh, then I, uh, I also have my own label, and um, I'm coming. I'm working on my clothing line coming out. So um, that's stuff. I mean, my brother went into businesses. He flipped cars and um, real estate stuff like that. So just talk about um, you know having a fun your music career with your own money. That shit hard, man. I ain't gonna lie. That shit hard. You know, you really gotta be know that's what you want to do. Cause you spend a lot of money. And um, a lot of your time, your own resources, you know, no, no, not to people that got like sponsors or you know, see somebody see something in them, no, not to them at all. But yeah, that shit really like you really got to know you want to do that. And you funding it, that's your independent shit. Ooh, that shit a struggle. I no, no doubt. What's some um, advice that you could give to like an artist that that's up and coming? All right. Um, don't quit. Um, learn as much about this industry because it's a dirty industry as you can. Like, ins and out of it. Learn as much and then really perfect your craft. Perfect your craft so you don't spend 
he don't want to spend years wasted or time wasted. Like, you know, we all trying to blow up. So really perfect your craft or like, you know, just work on that song. Because nowadays, if you know anything about the industry, nowadays it's one song you might be out here. Like, you know, it no. ain't. No doubt, no doubt. What um, what's something that we could expect from you coming in the future? Um, definitely trying to uh do more features with, like not not wait till I blow up, but do more features with local people. Like you know, before even before they get a little buzz or whatever. Like that uh, project for show. Um, like I say, my clothes my clothes dropping. You know, just they should expect to see me. You know, everywhere in your face. You feel me? No doubt. And let them know where they could uh could follow you at and stuff like that. Um, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, it's Indy Cash, I N D Y C A S H H. Um, that's that on everything. Oh, YouTube, Indy Cash, um, I N D Y C A S H. No doubt. And do you have anything else that you would like to add? Stay positive, stay out the way, man. Make that money. Chase your dream for sure. Straight up, man. I appreciate you for, you know, allowing us to do this interview with you. I hope you are doing big things in the future and just keep doing what you're doing. You seem like you're very dedicated to it, for sure, for sure. I appreciate y'all for the opportunity, for real. Nah, it's all love. That should be good.